Welcome back. Now we'll take your questions. If you have a question yourself, send it to us at QuranSpeaks.com. So actually, the question today is about Maryam. Uh, I want to ask, someone saying I want to ask Dr. Shabir why Allah called Maryam sister of Harun in the Qur'an. Mm -hmm. So uh, just so our viewers all understand, Maryam is the Arabic for Mary. In the Quran, uh, in the Quran uh, Mary is called Maryam, the mother of Jesus. And uh, some, uh, w when she comes with her baby, people say to her, uh, Ya Ukhta Harun, oh, uh, sister of Aaron, uh, your father was not a wicked man, nor was your uh, mother a loose woman. So uh, basically they have a question, how do mm -hmm. you have a baby? baby and uh, you know who's the baby's father that that sort of thing um, so it's interesting that they call her sister of Aaron now some orientalist uh, non-muslim scholars have tried to find out uh, what was the influence in the life of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him how did he come up with the Quran where did he get his ideas and they thought well uh, he may have uh, m made a mistake in that uh, in in the Bible uh, uh, Moses has a brother Aaron and also a sister Maryam uh, Miriam and uh, um, uh, perhaps uh, uh, the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him confused the two Marys here thinking that Maryam the mother of Jesus is that Miriam, mm -hmm. the sister of Moses okay. uh, and s by extension sister of, uh, of Harun of, of Aaron. Uh, but when the a question was put to the Prophet, peace be upon him, according to a hadith uh, as to why the Mary is called um, a sister of, uh, of Harun here, uh, it is reported that he said that tell them that, uh, uh, tell the questioners about this, that uh, the uh, people uh, normally give the names of their ancestors to their children. Uh, so, if we think of today's uh, societies, we will find it's very common that within the same household you can have a Mary and an Aaron uh, and a Moses and a Zachariah and so on. You can have names from very different segments of uh, a past history all culminating in the same household among brothers and, and sisters. Uh, so, uh, as Muslims are doing that now, uh, people would have done that in the past as well. Uh, and that would explain why Mary is called sister of Aaron. Uh, perhaps she had a brother named, uh, named Harun. Uh, some of the commentators say that, uh, that perhaps she's called this way because she was in the Levitical line of, uh, of descent. What uh, does that mean? Uh, that means that as Aaron was a priest and then the priests descended from his stock. Mm -hmm. uh, so Mary is of the same line of descent, which would be interesting because uh, in the New Testament, Jesus on whom be peace is, uh, uh, is shown to be the son of David. He's of the Davidic line, which would mean that uh, he's of that kingly descent. And when people hailed him as the Messiah, they thought that that means that he is the Davidic Messiah. Uh, but a problem occurs in that if he's the Davidic Messiah, he should have ruled, uh, and, and he didn't rule. Of course, Christians generally believe that when he comes back, he will rule. But our Jewish friends say, well, okay, in that case, when he comes back, we will believe that he's the Messiah, but so, so far he hasn't proven himself to be the Messiah. When he comes back and he rules, he will prove himself to be the Messiah, and then we'll believe that he is the Messiah, but so far it doesn't look like he is. Uh, in the Islamic uh, view, on the other hand, uh, there is no mention that he is of Davidic descent. And the Margaret Barker, in her book, Christmas, The Original Story, actually remarked on this fact that uh, in the Quran, and neither Mary nor Jesus are shown to be of Davidic uh, descent. And that would probably explain uh, why uh, Mary is called sister of Aaron, in order to show that she's actually not of Davidic descent, but actually Levitical. And in that case, Jesus on whom be peace would qualify still as the Messiah, but as a priestly Messiah. Mm -hmm. And in that case, uh, the, I the idea of his crucifixion does not present a problem. You see, if he was to be the Davidic Messiah and then he was crucified, it would mean that uh, somehow the crucifixion disproves his claim to messiahship. But if he was a priestly messiah, then all he has to do is be a priest uh, or a religious teacher. And in that case, uh, the fact that they crucified him would not count against uh, the, uh, his, uh, the, his authenticity as God's uh, priestly messiah. You answered several questions with that. Thank <laughs> you very much, Dr. Shubert. You're welcome. Hey, YouTube. We hope you benefited from this video. If you liked it, or if you didn't, let us know in the comments below. And if you're interested in learning more, check out some of our other videos. And don't forget to subscribe so you can get new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.